All right, what's going on everyone? Today we are out here, small little local lake in it. If y'all don't know what that means, I appreciate y'all stopping by my channel because if you've never seen my channel before, that might be a little confusing to some people, but that's what we call all the lakes around here. So that's what we're doing. And we're gonna kind of talk about and fish with a bait that I overlook consistently in the summer. Like for my entire past eight or 10 years of bass fishing, I've pretty much overlooked this bait. Haven't thrown it very much at all, really in the past five or six years, and haven't thrown it in the summer in probably eight or nine years. But there was a time whenever I was younger where I used to leave this bait on the front deck all the time. But has it been too recent we've been fishing with that thing. So today we're gonna kind of dive into summertime jerking. Summertime, throwing a jerk bait around, throwing it around, you know, all types of different kind of cover. And the one that I'm throwing today is a Spro Mix Stick 95. It's a really good jerk bait for kind of staying around that cover. And whenever you, you jerk it, it doesn't have that long swoop or that big giant hop. It kind of quivers back and forth. It'll make a small little, you know, dart, you know, forward. Just four or five inches a lot of times, especially that small bait, doesn't, you know, come a long ways every time you jerk it. But it does produce a lot of flash. So about to rig one up go around here and throw it around to all different types of cover and try to catch uh, some summertime jerkbait bass. I have not done that in years. Let's go get it done. So this one we're gonna go with, this is the Spro Mix Stick. This is actually the 95. I misspoke whenever I said it was the 90. This is the 95. I got it on eight pound test. This is a smaller little bait. This is what I would consider more of like a junior style jerkbait. Eight pound test, six nine medium light point blank rod. Still got a fast gear ratio reel. The normal thing that I do is every bait that I work with the rod, I put a I put a fast action a fast gear ratio, fast action that would be a rod. Put a fast gear ratio on every single bait that I work with the rod. Baits that I work with the reel is when I'm going to slow down. So clear chartreuse, little jerk bait. See if we'll catch one on this thing. Hooks are super sharp. That's the best thing about is you don't have to change the hooks out of the pack like I do with. You know every other brand that i've ever thrown you gotta change the hooks out of the pack and the spros if i'm gonna change them it's gonna they're gonna have to get dull first so that's a little setup. super lightweight little rod right here love this thing mm, like butter That ain't what I had in mind. Alright, so we're going to change the colors real quick. I just had, just in like 10 minutes, four or five pretty nice spotted bass, you know, 14 inches, pound and a quarter style fish, and uh, they didn't really get it. So we're going to tie on a different color because they really, they obviously like the action because it's drawing them to it. There was just something that was making them not really bite this thing. So for whatever reason, I've had a lot of a lot of followers. That's also one of the reasons why I don't throw this bait this time of year that much because I don't feel like most of the fish that come and look at it really get it. But yeah, the hooks are hooks are perfect, so that can't be the issue. So they ain't really biting it. They're kind of just falling it all the way to the boat. Let's see if a little different color. This color is actually oh, dang, that didn't take long, did it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> see if a different color. Wow, bam. <laughs> Man, I don't know if that was it or not, but as soon as I changed colors, <laughs> I literally stood up and could call me a nice little largemouth. So, ain't no wrong with that. Look how he had that thing eight, too. Yeah, that, I mean, I don't know. Could that other color just be a better cold water color? Because that's when I catch them on when it's cold. I'm really surprised at just how fast I got a dang bite. That's actually a largemouth. Not even what I was really after. But look. He ain't picky. I would rather catch largemouth. 100% would rather catch largemouth. So, I'm good with that. I can't believe that. First cast with this new color. This 
there's another one, first cast. It's a little nice little spot of bass. Just a perfect little place. Over here on some windblown rocks. You know, just like as standard as it gets. For ambush point. If I can unhook him. Let's get this hook out of his mouth. So I can open his mouth, hold him a little better. Then unhook him. Pretty little spot of bass. I, lose, I like catching these things as long as we're not in a tournament and then I'll tell you even in a tournament sometimes I'm glad to get one of them suckers every now and then so you know I complain about spots I fish for largemouth but I don't really mind it too much I have fun catching them sometimes we go to some of these other lakes like uh, Lake Martin or the Coosa River or any of these lakes over here that are any of these other small little local lakes that the spotted bass actually get a lot bigger and I, I've caught a four and a half pound spot out of this lake, but I've only caught a handful, maybe 10, three pounders. So they just don't get that big in this lake for whatever reason. But those other lakes, I actually do target them a good bit. So I know I talk bad about spots sometimes. I'm sorry, spotted bass. I really am sorry. Y'all are pretty fun too, you know. Ooh, good one. Good one. Ooh, You're moving pretty quickly, too. Got him hooked funny. He's in the boat. He's in the boat. <clears throat> I'm actually going to take a picture of this one. Send it to my little bro. Got my old plies out. Pretty little spot of bass. It's funny how off the different types of structure, like this is a really, really dark one. The last one I caught is a really, really dark one. Off the different types of structure, how different colored they get. So whenever they live on these big rocks like this, they turn that golden, almost brown color. It's really interesting but you know everybody already knows that but it's pretty cool to see it you know just in one day the ones i was catching off the shallow gravelier dock type stuff were just a lot more wider and a lot you know brighter colored whereas the ones on these rocks are a lot more like golden brown color. nothing like a good wake boat wave to make you really just feel like you're about to catch one nothing like Rocking back and forth, fishing shallow. That screams, I'm about to catch a dang giant one, you know? Hmm. Hit the old tree. Mm. It's better not to bang your rod on the trolling motor or the metal bracket or the side of the boat. It's better not to, okay? Don't figure that out the hard way. But I'll be knocking this thing on the side of the boat on this jerk bait. Whop! Can't help it. A lot of these baits like this, like a uh, jerk bait or throwing a frog or throwing a topwater walking bait or whatever it's really important to manage your slack correctly and obviously whenever i don't do that i don't hit the bait then all of a sudden i just hit the side of the boat so when you're going down the bank covering water fast it's hard to do sometimes and in current stuff like that it's always changing but managing your slack correctly is a big key 
to throw in this jerk bait or you know any type of a bait where you're you're kind of twitching the rod managing the slack is is the number one deal that you know i have people tell me having a hard time getting this frog to walk or having a hard time you know making the top water bait walk the way i want it to you, you you're probably have an inconsistent amount of slack in your in your line you know and that's that it's always changing that's one of the things is like it's not it's not a set deal if i'm in current sometimes i'll have i'll have more slack in my line at all times and then if you know it's real cold i'll leave a little more slack in my line because i want that bait to do the, just a little bit extra you know on the pause so i mean it's not a set standard it's just kind of something you got to get a feel for and time on the water there is no replacement for time on the water but all these types of baits slack management is something that you really have to you know pay attention to that a lot of people don't don't talk about too much it's it's, it's the biggest key to all these types of baits oh i missed him i watched him come out there and take it a little ways he'll probably a, probably a bluegill and if you're new to the channel i also call all panfish bluegill just i just do i catch a warm mouth and call it a bluegill i catch a pumpkin seed called a bluegill they're all bluegill to me just just what it is all right, so we've been out here throwing that jerkbait around for a little while now. I think I've caught three, maybe four on it. I don't know. Y'all have seen it. I don't know, probably three. But uh, kind of disappointed in myself for, for kind of putting that bait down for the past years. You know, I, I really don't know why I did it. But now that I'm throwing it, and I'm throwing it on a specific type of cover, or, you know, not just one particular thing, but I'm targeting a certain type of fish that's set up a little bit differently than... You know a lot of the fish that i normally fish for this time of year so now it's actually opened up a decent percentage of just this lake that are types of cover that i would just drive past this time of year and i wouldn't even think to stop on it but now that i'm looking for it i'm seeing all these places that i normally would just drive right by and i'm pulling up on it and i'm getting some bites so it's really interesting to see that come and I'm, I'm an elite series pro you know like i i fish all the time it's just for whatever reason this is a technique and a and a style of fish a uh, temperament of fish that i have kind of avoided for years and now i'm kind of seeing the power of it and why i used to do it so much because i used to fish like this i just kind of forgot about it so let's go catch us a few more i just wanted to tell you all that like this this new this technique that i've just started doing today has opened up a big percentage of this lake that typically wouldn't fish this time of year but let's go run some more new water i guess Look at what I got. A dang bluegill. <laughs> Man, what you did that for, dude? Why you gonna do yourself like that, man? Get all them... All three hooks in your mouth like that. Hmm. That was like a dang finger trap. Look at that. Look at that big giant. Ah! Ah! Oh man, hold on a second. All right, try this again. Oh, check him out. Was that called a long ear or something? I'm not really sure. He might just be a bluegill. I don't know. It's funny. I was talking about that earlier. Then I caught one. That might be a bluegill. He had bluegills. I don't know. I catch bass. Ideally. Watch him come up and smoke it. Bluegill. I was wondering what was going on. Got me another bluegill on the, on the old jerking plug. I watched him come up and get it to my bait ran off and he was going like 100 miles an hour and then he kept going like 100 
train wreck that one. Ooh. A pretty little spot. That one's a little bit less golden than the other ones I caught on that big boulder rock. Probably a little open water spot right there. All right, that's going to do it for the summertime jerkbait fishing. Haven't done that in actually a really long time, so I felt pretty good. It was pretty fun to catch some on that that rod. I haven't really caught any fish on that rod since like March or something, and it's a super light rod. I just love throwing it because it feels so different than most of the stuff that I normally fish. It's almost like when you pick up a spinning rod and you haven't caught on a spinning rod in a while. It's just fun to catch them no matter how big they are. So that's kind of how that was with that rod and that reel and that super light eight pound line that I was throwing that jerk bait on. So pretty cool to catch them. A way different technique than what I've been doing. I've been flipping, frogging, throwing a swim jig. Everything's been braid or 22 or 25 pound fluoro. It's a little bit different, a little bit change of pace, and it was fun. Got to catch me a few. Caught a couple nice ones, you know, for this time of year and this this particular lake. Caught a couple good ones. So if y'all enjoyed that video, kind of seeing me do something that I don't normally do, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know in the comment section a bait that I might have also overlooked that y'all haven't seen me throw in a while. And if it's something I do throw a lot that y'all haven't seen, it's probably because it's a secret. But anyways, appreciate y'all watching. The rain is coming. There's a rainbow right over there. But the rain's coming, so I'm going to get out of here real quick. I appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all.